Hi, hello there! I'm Hayley Louise and welcome to my channel. So if you are here at this point then you might have come from part one and part two of my gaming collection. This is my Xbox games and in today's episode I shall be going through the last little stint of my games that I own. I'm going to be sharing with you the games that I have found the most interesting or the most fun and yeah let's just let's get into it first off is two older games and this is blood rain Woo! and blood rain 2 these games i just think are awesome i remember buying this game from blockbuster when it was still open it follows the story of rain who is a dampier which is a cross between a human and a vampire. Ooh. Basically kicks ass with two huge swords. So I mean, who doesn't like that? So it's vampires, humans, fighting for leadership of the world as these things, as it usually goes. Blood Rain 2 is just an extension of that. It goes on. In the end of Blood Rain 2 though, it's left on a cliffhanger and that's why I need Blood Rain 3. I don't think from 2005 until now there has been a new release. I don't think they're going to do one now, but these are two of the re these are two really really good games. Hours and hours of gameplay always keeps me entertained. They have so many like all of the characters have really like cocky, out of this world attitudes, and it was just really really fun to play. Next up is Deuce X Human Revolution. I friggin love this game. This is basically set in the future where humans can go in and get any upgrade that they want. As I've mentioned in my previous gaming videos, but there are alternate endings with this one. Apparently, I haven't actually completed this one. I must do at some point, but um, yeah, apparently there's multiple endings. Really good game. Another one that once you sit down and play, you want to play for like five hours solid or until your eyeballs fall out of your head. Really, really love that game. There's lots of shooting, there's lots of full on just action. Um, keeps you thinking, quite a few mini games as well, which is good, really good. Then we have another two that I actually played out of sync. First off, my mum got me this quite a few years ago now. Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, woohoo. So yet another zombie game graces the list of games in my collection. Ooh. So this one is friggin awesome. I then got Red Dead Redemption because I didn't realise that there was this one, that this one existed in the time of this one. I love both of these games, absolutely love John Marston which is the main character. You basically in this one follow him around a zombie infested western movie. So I mean that's really really good. Both of these are obviously sat, set in like cowboy times. You can ride horses, you can ride carriages, trains, oh the whole shebang. And yeah I really like this one especially because this one is like you have extra bits in like I always try to catch if you have if you, if you know what I want about with this one there are like magic horses like you have the horses of the apocalypse that you can actually like lasso catch and ride as your own I always always try to get like multiple horses and it doesn't work that way really really good game really good game and the other one is really really good next up is LA Noir this is a really really good game. This is set in, I think it's like 1940s, maybe a little bit earlier. No, 1940s Los Angeles. So um, this is kind of similar to CSI in the way of like you find like evidence and um, crime scenes and you look at bodies and stuff like that. It is an open world. It is kind of a mix between, yeah, like CSI, Grand Theft Auto, Lara Croft, like it's a mix of everything with a really really good storyline like I think if you were to watch someone play this you would feel like you were watching a really long movie which is what I love it's really really cinematic and it's a really sad but great ending so yes definite recommendations but this game I friggin love I love this game and I really did not think 
that I would enjoy at all. That is Mirror's Edge. Now they're bringing out another one, or it's already out, which is Catalyst, I believe, which I really, really want to play. This one is definitely a couple of years old now. It is a free running game, but um, obviously there is combat in it and stuff like that. This game is amazing. It's so beautiful as well. So well put together. The graphics and everything on it is amazing. Um, you can do it so like you can have the view so you can see like your feet and your arms so you feel you can feel like you're actually the one doing it even though you're not. It's a controller but you know it's nice to live the dream sometimes. Now I haven't played the new one again but uh, this has to be one of my favourite Grand Theft Autos. This is not the only one I own. I do have some of the other ones here on PlayStation. This is the only Xbox one that I do own, but I really, really like these games. I think Grand Theft Auto is like a staple. It's a bit like Tomb Raider. It's just one of those things I think that are always, always going to be there. Everyone raves about the Grand Theft Auto 5, and I really do want to play that, but this is definitely, definitely up there with one of my favourites. This is, what is his name? Nico! He's fresh off the boat from Europe in the hope that he can escape his past. Really, really funny. You get to go out on dates, you get to choose each other's outfits and stuff, um, and you get to rob cars and shoot people. So, I mean, you know, nice bit of violence in a video game there. Again, open world, great, great game. Really, really keeps you on your toes and keeps you entertained. Prince of Persia! How can I have Assassin's Creed being one of my favourite games and not include Prince of Persia, which basically like started it all? Prince of Persia is absolutely amazing, and if you didn't know, Assassin's Creed was actually going to be an extension of Prince of Persia, um, and then they decided to make it into the, its like whole game and what it is today, which is amazing. So, so good. This is the reimagined version because the other... I think there was like another three. I do have them all, I have played them all. They are all on PlayStation. But yeah, this one is really, really good. The way that they redid it was kind of very similar to the Walking Dead style. I'm not sure what it is. It's kind of a bit comic booky looking. If you are into Assassin's Creed and things like that and you haven't checked this out, then just go and have a nose because I'm sure these are gonna be pretty darn cheap on eBay now because a lot of these are pretty old. Darksiders 2. I love this game. This game reminds me so much. I don't know if this is a really old game what I'm going to mention now. Soul Reaver. I love that game. It reminds me so much like imagery wise of Soul Reaver. This is basically the tale of like one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. I believe you are death. So, so good. So good. Another one. Another one like if you are really, really into The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, that kind of thing. This is a really, really funky game. I'm sure there's a Darksiders 3 now, which I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to like make a wish list of all these games I want. But this is amazing. And you get a pony! Batman Arkham City. This is, has to be one of my favorite Batman games. You have Catwoman, you have the Joker, you have Batman, and of course you have the Harley Quinn. It really takes you back to like old school gaming where it's kind of like you get like the little flashy bit above the head but just with really up to date graphics and I really really enjoyed playing this game. You get loads of gadgets, makes you feel like you're a cool man dressed up as a bat. Um, so I mean what's not appealing? <laughs> this game is currently in my Xbox 360. I'm already hooked. I'm already hooked. So it starts off you go into a hospital with a bunch of mental patients something happens and then you end up in a room upside down where you have to escape and then you get chased down the corridor with a chainsaw. So if that kind of thing sounds like it would really interest you then this game is it. It is like a nightmare, like a, one of the worst nightmares that you cannot wake up from. So if that is your thing when it comes to gameplay then I would totally, totally recommend this bad boy to you. It's uh, definitely, again a lot of these are a couple of years old, is this 1997? No. 2014, I was gonna say. It's just, it's, it's vile and exciting and wonderful all at the same time. Next I have a game that I really enjoyed. It got such rubbish reviews when it first came out, but I couldn't wait to play it because I loved how it sounded. And that was Murdered Soul Suspect. 
Now, if you have played this game, then I would love for you to let me know what your honest opinions were in the comment section down below on this one because it got such bad reviews. But I'll tell you something, this was a really, really enjoyable game. Not that long, I have to say. So yeah, that is about a murdered cop who basically comes back as a ghost and weird stuff starts happening. Well, it's gonna be weird, isn't it? He's dead, but yeah, it's very, very strange. Um, but I thought it was really, really wonderful. Now I have four games here that I just wanna share with you because I've had these a while, but I have not played them. As you can see, these are all completely and utterly sealed. Watch Dogs, I don't know how I have not played this yet. Rise of Nightmares, which um, looks gross on the back, which means probably I'd find it very, very appealing. Hitman Absolution, I have played the other Hitman, but I haven't played this one as of yet. And The Bureau, XCOM Declassified. I have no idea what game to delve into, guys. So if you have any suggestions of what game I should play next out of these four, then feel free to drop me a comment in the comment section down below. So that was it. That was my entire Xbox game collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to say as well on the end of this video, which is probably stupid because I'll have two other videos already up. Never mind, I'm going to say it this at the end of this anyway. Because I play violent or disturbing that you find, that other people may find disturbing video games does not mean that that is going to make me into a psychopath or that I want to go around shooting people in real life. I think video games in general get quite a bad rap for being um, the cause of violent behaviour and nine times out of ten I'm going to say no. We consume this stuff every single day guys. I find it really really relaxing to sit down and jump into another little world and just concentrate on that for a while and um, that does not make me a violent person at all. Playing games does not mean that you are dumb, that you're stupid, that all you can do is play video games. I mean look at PewDiePie. Thanks so much for watching if you have made it this far to the end. Um, if you would like to see any more gaming related videos in the future, then let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for putting up with me, you guys that aren't that much into gaming. If you guys have sat here and watched it all the way to the end, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you feel like it and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be playing, I'm not going to be playing them. Oh, that's Blade, that's a DVD. I like that too. Both of them. The world's like it's open world, so it's epic, like you can drive, you can drive horses.